Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so excited to have you and I'm so excited to be doing a little rental friendly kitchen makeover. This is the space we're working with. I'm really excited because I have had so many ideas for in here and just have been gathering different decor elements that I'm so excited to actually put up and put to use and just see this space come to life. It's kind of nice to see because I just cleaned it all out, got it set so it's a fresh kitchen, empty of everything. And so I'm excited to refill it with everything. In this makeover, we won't actually be doing any crazy hacks that are for redoing the floors or the counters, but we are gonna be doing some still fun, renter-friendly touches. I, of course, had to look on Pinterest to see what I wanted to envision this space as. That's how I always start this. I start gathering different images there and then I bring them over into my own mood board so I can really focus on this project. And then I begin to collage the things I actually have to see it come to life, see it work with the paint color we have in here and just make sure everything fits all together. Now that we have that all said and done, we are gonna go ahead and start putting up the different things. The first thing that I want to do is put up a peel and stick rod that I can hang things off of. I found a lot of really cool inspo pictures that had this used. A lot of them are with custom built homes where they had built it in and they just look so beautiful, but we're gonna do it on a renter friendly way. And I think it's possible I found the perfect one on Amazon and we'll just see how it goes. I wanna get that up because we gotta let it set a little bit before I could add the hooks on and start hanging things on it and then we'll just go from there so let's go let's get that up things that I do want to share right off the bat is that we have these really cool glass cabinets that you can see into. These I've already stylized so I'll just give you a little preview of what they look like but basically a lot of just the glasses, a lot of our everyday usage things and that is all good to go because we've been in this house for a little bit so this is more of just the decorating items that I have. And then we also have appliances over here. They're kind of hidden from the fridge and we use this kitchen. It's definitely one that needs to be purposeful as well. So those are just gonna stay there and I would love to have like one of those kitchen garages or things like that that you see a lot of new homes have now and people incorporating into their spaces. I think those are so smart so great but the reality is in this rental friendly house we have to have them on the counter so they're going to be hidden away over here okay now that we have that really cool gold rod up i'm letting it sit letting the 3m adhesive set and we're gonna go ahead and add these cafe curtains. So I got this rod from Target. It's just a tension rod, so you can expand it however long you need it to. And then I got these linen curtains from Amazon and they are perfect, super lightweight. And I think it's gonna add that level of privacy that I want, but also still allow the light in and they'll probably only go halfway up in our windows. So that way light will still come in above it and then we can move the cafe curtains as we need to, to let more light in or to have the privacy go. So let's go add those to the window. on the wall I debated on what to put here I thought about putting a couple shelves I thought about just putting artwork and we're gonna do a mix of the two I think I'm gonna put this art piece here it's one of my favorites and I think it would look really nice right in this kitchen it would be a fun little touch to have and then I'm thinking that we'll put the 
this shelf above it. The shelf is a little wonky. I bought it off of Facebook Marketplace, but I think it is really pretty in the detail and the curves in it and the vintage touch on it. So I don't know how purposeful it will be, but I think it will look great with these two pairing together. So let's nail them up and get them up on the wall. Baby, like important pieces I just want to call out because we actually have a lot of really special touches in this kitchen. This little gnome here actually was crocheted by Jake's grandma and it's the cutest little thing. So we have that up on the ledge which is really fun. One of my best friends gave me these little candlestick holders which is really cool to have in our kitchen. I just love them. This my grandpa actually made as well. He has done just a ton of woodwork and carpentry his whole life and he made this in his 90s, he's about to turn 96, and I think this is just so special to have. This little dish right here that I put the sponges in is actually a repurposed candle, which I think is so nice. I've been trying to buy bigger candles because they're easy or to repurpose instead of having a bunch of like little candles. On the little rack wall, we have just a dish cloth, but then we also have this little timer that Jake had bought and then also this little painting that I did forever ago like I don't even probably some time in college which is really fun to have it hang up here and then this little lamp in the corner I bought from Facebook marketplace which I think it works well in this kitchen over in this corner we have a wicker basket I think I got it from Goodwill a long time ago sometime in college and it continues to just be a little fruit basket for me. You can't actually hang it upright, but it's just usually it's a basket. This little ceramic dish, it was actually a candle as well. And my best friend made this. She's great at pottery, does a fabulous job with it. And so I have a lot of really fun pottery pieces from her. And this one, we just have our little Nespresso Tenzin. Back here, the vase that the wooden spoons are in is actually a vase for flowers that I got from an estate sale. I just think it's so beautiful and honestly, I just think vases work so much better for being a utensil holder more than just your traditional utensil holder that you would find at like Home Goods or Target or something. And then we do, of course, just have some canisters back there filled with constant dry goods that we use throughout the daily or constantly are reaching for and those are just from amazon of course okay lastly over in this corner we have a painting i bought this from a person off of instagram who had an etsy vintage thrift resale account actually someone that i went to college with 
and I have been obsessed with this piece. It continues to move from apartment to house <laughs> to house with me and I just love the frame on it and I think it's just a beautiful look at an oil painting. And then we also have that vintage shelf that I bought off of Facebook Marketplace. I don't know what I'm going to put up there yet, so we're just going to leave it blank for now. But I think eventually we'll work, work our way and find something that fits perfectly up there. One last thing that I added that I did not show is this little glass canister, I guess you could call it. And I bought this from Goodwill. It is probably my latest obsession. I think it's so, so beautiful. And I love just the little flower printout on the front and the detail along the top and just the overall shape of it, I think is just so beautiful. And that's the space. Overall, this space, I'm so happy with. It was so fun to just decorate, add some nice little touches and add those couple renter-friendly hacks in here. I know that there's so much to do in a kitchen and that there are a lot of fun hacks that can be done with the flooring and with the counters and everything, but I feel like we were pretty happy with how this kitchen was already looking. So just adding those more vintage touches and adding a bit more of our personality was really fun to do without having to spend a lot of money to transform the space completely. One thing that I would like to do in the future, I think, is change out the hardware in here. I think that's one really easy renter friendly hack that can be done super, super well and really adds to the kitchen. I would love to change out these silver knobs and handles for actual brass vintage ones. So we're going to stay on the hunt for that. I'm going to continue to look and browse around and see if I can find a good deal for those one day and maybe we'll switch them out in a video to come. And then I also have been hiding this corner over here. So right over there, we have a little breakfast nook and that is something that I am working on and we'll have in a video to come so soon. I'm really excited for it because it's going to be super cute. And so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching this little rental friendly makeover in my kitchen. I will see you in the next video. Bye.